Sata asked me, your channel is so underrated, quality content here. Thank you. Also, do you happen to know how to shoot where I touch? If I am making a mobile top view game and want to shoot in the direction I touch. I think you mean something similar like this. I touch anywhere and I shoot the can and this is how it looks like. So, if this is the thing you wanted to know, I will show you why now. What do you use to record your screen? It's kind of blurry. Do you think it's blurry? I think it's fine. Look at this. Everything is beautiful. Oh, I will press this button. Okay, maybe it's better now. So I prepared a scene. Um, what did I do? That's the obvious question. I created some um, cylinders and removed the capsule collider, added a new collider called mesh collider to be more precise. It's convex and a widget body and say, okay, it's affected by the gravity, make it a little bit smaller and place it in on top of the stack. So all the others look exactly the same. I can drag and drop this into my um, empty object here. And there we go. We have a perfect stack of cylinders. And so that's all I did right now. So let's go ahead and create a new game object, just an empty one, and add a script called game manager. And after that, we just edit the script. Okay, um, we want to turn the can red, so we need something like a material. And then we will create a material here. Material, new material, okay, we will leave it like that. Just uh, take a red color and drag and drop it onto our hit material. So on update, we do the following. If input get mouse button down zero, so if I click and on mobile it's when I touch, I do the following. Um, I need a ray. And this ray is um, just derived from the camera. I say camera main. You can also use a reference to the camera. And then there's some cool function or method called screen point to ray. And as a screen point, we just use the mouse position, which is also the touch position. So derived from this touch position, we get a ray. And a ray is basically a point and a direction. So, and now we can do li something like physics. Uh, ray cast and we use this ray. So, and this means if this ray is hitting anything, we will go here. So, and we need some info like the hit info object and we generate a local hit info just to have everything in place. So, now we check if hit info or maybe we start a little bit different. Var rigid body equals uh, hit info collider. This is basically our collider. Our ways, ray is hitting right now. And uh, we can call get component rigid body. And only the cans in our scene have rigid bodies. So we know if the rigid body is in place, then we have a can. So we can get the component of mesh renderer just to have a mesh renderer of the can and there we can interchange the material with the hit material. So what is happening here? Okay, we get the ray, cast it through the scene, then the ray hits anything and the anything is a collider and then we get the rigid body of the collider and the mesh renderer and what we will also do is rigid body um, add force at position. So we add a force. This force is the same as the ray direction. So this is the direction we touch. This is exactly your question. Times 50 to make it a little bit harder. Um, the position is on hit info point. 
this is exactly the point the ray is hitting the can. And we can set the force mode to velocity change to just to have a direct impact on our can. So, and that's it, that's a complete script. Let's try it out. And there we go, it's perfectly working. So if we have a look at our scene view, what is happening here is just, we have the camera, it's clicked anywhere here, and then a ray is casted through the scene. Um, for example, if we click on the left upper corner here, then the ray is casted exactly um, exactly matching this line here. And if any collider is on this line, for example, if I would move it down so that you can see, I can click the can here, then the ray is hitting this collider. And if we have a look at here, how it's looking, it has a widget body. This is what we are checking here. Okay, the collider has a widget body. So we're going from the collider to the widget body and from the widget body to the mesh renderer, from the widget body to the mesh renderer, and change the default material. Just I click, and you see it's a new material, it's red, and it's getting blasted away. That's it, very simple. Uh, I put all the scripts in the description. If you want to see more or have any questions, to just ask in the comments. I will do uh, videos about any topic and have fun.